called. So this is considered the next episode? Yeah. All I know is, actually what I don't know is, when Drake does Marvin's Room, who am I calling? If you're not calling me, I'm going to be fucking pissed. There's no chance I'm calling you. Who am I calling? It's fucked up, dude. Drake coming to Boston. The last time he was in Boston, you could feel it. And no one knew no one knew how to act. Yeah. If you remember. Yeah. Apparently I was reading that the last time he went on tour was in twenty eighteen. Was it? oh shit. He yeah, dropped it was three projects since then. It was like Nigo. Yeah. But I feel Migos, I feel right? like it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Dude, isn't that crazy? Twenty eighteen. And think about how big like how crazy this tour is gonna be. He's touring with three albums. Potentially four. What people aren't talking about is the fact that twenty one savage is opening. Yeah, I'm fucking pumped I, about that. He's not definitely not the best performer. But no, he but he has no, so he's, many he's fucking records, records right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Episode 70. But I know the DJ. Welcome back, everybody. As we ladies, are we are we good back there? We can hear you. <laughs> Very clearly. <laughs> We're recording. Sorry. This is a podcast. Fuck. Hey, don't fire them. How much are you paying them, dude? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, um, episode 70, so glad to be back, guys. Always good to I see you. It. Always good to see you, gentlemen. Always. Remember when we, like, never saw each other? Um, but as, <laughs> as, as, I, saw, I saw you guys. As, as, as we were saying, you know, a lot going on in the hip-hop world, but the big thing is tr- the Six God going back on tour. I'm going to the show. I'm going to the show. You going to the show? I don't know yet. He's going to the show. That's a weird fucking answer. Um, oh, but uh, I'm going night one for Boston. I'm going. Uh, tickets. I'm going. Uh, I actually got fucking lucky. So when everyone was was like freaking out about getting the tickets yeah. and like the the pre order and whatever, I was like, "Fuck! I don't know what to do." I was like hitting up people for uh, a hookup. My homegirl posts on IG the day that they the, the pre order first happens. Right, mm-hmm. she posts on IG, um, selling two tickets to Drake. Hit me up, right? I hit like with the, I saw it within like three minutes of like her posting. I, I DM, I'm like, yo, what's the word? She goes, me and my boyfriend surprised each other. Oh, wow. with tickets, wow. tickets, with tickets, and he uh, has, and he has, clutch. and he has the better seats. Clutch. And I go, okay, what are the seats? And and she like sent me a picture of like what the what it look the great seats. Yeah. And I'm like, what's the word with it? She goes, honestly, like, you know, I I have to like I don't I just want to like I, I'm not really worried. She goes four hundred a piece. Wow. And I go, are you serious? She got 400 bees. I go, what's your cash up right now? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Send it to me. So I got lucky. Very lucky. Didn't have to wait in any queue in any line. And uh, What are they looking like now? Um, I actually saw the, I know Balcony, I, saw, I randomly was curious literally the other day. And now Balcony right now is like nearly 400. Like like high That's threes. Pre, before, like high threes pre- um, like tax and fees, fees and yeah. shit. That's so nice. that's probably like a $500 ticket. Nice. Um, and yeah, going night one. Um, he's he's just starting his his whole American leg right now. You know, it's I'm I'm I wish I'm glad that we're early in his leg, but you yeah. know, once one show, two show hap, two shows happen like TikTok and stuff, all the giveaways. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. the thing about tours. Yeah. Like, yeah, we saw it with Renaissance, right? Like, we knew everything that she was pretty much doing her her outfits, the transitions and stuff. Yeah. Uh, within just a couple shows, um, I'm going night two. So uh, yeah, so I specifically wanted to go to night one. Is you know when he's doing multiple dates in one city that you know obviously I, like, I'm going to be talking about it. <laughs> you know, like and, and I'm going to try not to ruin it for you, but you know I'm sure we're all going to know what the set list is by the time it, he even gets here. I wouldn't and, be surprised you know I mean? if he's the type of guy to like to mix it, it up. Yeah, from, yeah. From night to night, bro, he's like a top top tier performer of yeah. our generation. Yeah, I I, I agree, but at the same time, like his schedule is very intensive. We're like, I don't even know like how, like how big of changes is even possible. But think about how many years it's been since he's been on tour. So, it's going to be amazing. So so it's like I think he's definitely put a lot of time into it, and I also wouldn't be surprised. That on top of having Twenty One Savage, he'll bring he's out break different, out. different yeah. both nights because that's what yeah. he did before in Boston. I yeah. thought he only brought out one. I know he brought out like Tatum one night. I, I didn't go to that tour, but no, didn't I he? didn't go to the last one. Summer sixteen, I think he brought out Chris Brown, but I could be wrong. I know when he did. 
on on his tour opener, his last tour opener is when, is when he did the Meek thing, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Which was right. nuts. Right. Like, which was fucking crazy. Yeah, it was great. I know he's doing. Let me see if I can get this right. He's doing three Madison shows. Wow. And I think like two Barclay shows or something like that. It's like either two and one or three and two. Like he's like in New York for like two weeks. Yeah. And I bet those shows are going to be fucking insane. Star stuff. Um, like so, he added. Like he initially had like just like again either two or one or uh, or whatever. And then he added because it was just so fucking crazy the demand yeah. and you know obviously yeah. Madison Square Garden if you can do that as many times yeah. as you can you'll do it. But and historically people usually tour with a release of an album. He has three, three that he's yeah under his belt for. It's going to be insane. Like I mean, and he's teasing another one. Obviously, yeah, and he's teasing one. another one. Yeah, uh, he, and this is, I feel like it's going to drop while he's out while he's on the road. Of obviously, um, and yeah. it, it's, it's going to fucking sell like a motherfucker. I mean the the fucking leaks. Are amazing. I haven't heard any leaks. Bro, I've been trying to stay away from Dude, all stay the away. leaks. Stay, I mean, I'd be heavy on the on the ticking talk. Crazy, bro. Yeah. Stay the away. leaks are fire, bro. Are you sure, they're not AI. No. So, so uh, it was funny because before you got here, I was talking to Cammy about this off air, and uh, I go to look for it, and then it goes like sound removed, and Cammy goes, "That's how you know that it's a real uh, one." Yeah. That, that like they yeah, took yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was I'm fucking, fucking fire. Fucking so the so album's good. done. The album got to be done. I'm sure most of it. I mean, I mean, you know how artists are. They sit on Mad Records. You know what I mean? And I'm excited because you know why? Um, he teased basically saying, do you want the old thing? The old yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So so he released, he recently dropped a poetry book yep. for all the dogs, right? Is that what it's called? For the dogs. No, the, for, well, that's, for, I for think that's the, the album. That's, that's, yes. The album that he teased the at the end of the book. Yeah. The book has no title. That's hot. It's like Drake's poetry. Shout out to yeah. Kenza, by the way. Kenza also. Yeah, yeah. And uh, from, I mean, from what I've seen, I see a couple like uh, not like people posting like one some of my pages. Friends, one of my friends bought it. Oh, really? Yeah. How much was it? Do you know? Not off the top of my head. Didn't it's know. a book full of puns. and But it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like it's, one-liners. Yeah. It's, that yeah. are like. Bars. But, but like, <laughs> Drake can do that, man. Drake yeah, but think about it. Those are all captions. He dropped the book yeah, of captions. Exactly. Yeah, 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 Dude, yeah. exactly. Which he's exactly. he's been a caption god since jump. Yeah. Like, if you're. What do you say in. CLB, it's like under under the pictures, my best lines or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. He's just he's really he, what he does really well is like capture an entire emotion in one sentence. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's good. That's and you like that was a bar itself, right? Yeah, that was that was Jesus. good. No matter how corny it is, snacks, there's some corny baby. lines, there's some corny ones in there. But Drake is Drake is. But but thing is, like like it, like bro. like what was um, uh, she says she is a lesbian girl. Me too. Like that's a really yeah. stupid line. But in the context of the song and the song that yeah. it's in and stuff, and that it's like mm. I, when I first heard, it, I was like, oh, like I was like fire, like you know what I mean. And it, and and how many times have you seen like people like say that shit? You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's just very good at that. And I think all, everyone obviously has very high expectations of Drake. I, this is actually gonna be my first time seeing him uh, live, which is crazy. Are you gonna um, cry? Are you gonna cry again? If he does Marvin's room, I'm 100 percent crying. Which I don't. Or Jungle. If he does Jungle, oh. I am crying my eyes out. But that's the thing. Will he go that far back? He could take you know it what I mean? anywhere Because he, he's sitting on three albums, like we just said. Obviously, he's going to do some of his classic records. But the, 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 this isn't a... You know, he has an opener. This is not going to be a three-hour show. You'd be you know surprised I mean? because... So when he did the Summer 16 tour with Future, like, there were a couple openers, and then he came on, and then he brought Future on, did back a bunch on. of the... Yeah, he's going to do that with 21 Savage, records, obviously. Yeah. And then he came back on, and then, like, Hit a bunch of his old stuff, and it was all medleys. Yeah, so one just, into another. Yeah, and I just, was like, yeah, going crazy, this ripping is them. Fucking wild. Yeah, I mean, if he does like any of those records, I'm definitely crying. Um, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but I know a lot of people who have seen him live are like, "Yo, he's amazing live." I'm, you know, I'm someone who has seen Kanye twice, mm. and like my kind of that's where my bar is for like rap shows, and yeah. um, I hope he at least meets it. And surpasses it. Um, I wouldn't even say Kanye shows or rap shows. Those are like fucking theater. Yeah, they're yeah. like they're like musicals. Live, yeah. movie. like, it's Live like, movies. Yeah, yeah. It's so that's what I mean. Like, because I remember when I saw Ash when I went to the Astro World show, I was like, oh, this is definitely lit. But like, yeah, it's not. It's not that rapper. Yeah. Like, but, I, but I was like, this isn't. You know, it wasn't Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. You know what I mean? So super, super excited. Um, Cammy, like, how are you feeling about you know, going to the show? Me and Greg are going. Greggy, Greggy V, what's up, baby? Shout out, Greg. So, uh, so dude, you're, you're not taking your girl to, to the Drake. You're taking your another guy. It's his brother. It's my brother. Bro. <laughs> it's his fucking brother. You're still another guy. You're not taking your girl to the Drake show. Is she yeah. not a fan? Is she? Yeah, she's a fan. No, no, she. Yeah, she's a yeah. fan. But like, 
I think for something like that, it was something that like I want. I don't get to do a lot of things with my brother. For for like, for, for for all the dogs. For the dogs, baby. For the dogs. Man. Like you know, I mean, like my brother and I, we we plan like a couple things like each year to do just me and him. Yeah, so it's nice. very healthy to have, you know. Yeah, so yeah I for think, sure. For uh, sure. To have that experience with him because me me and Greg like from day one have been on Drake and like that's oh, something yeah. that we share together so to have that experience that's gonna be his first Drake show too so well, yeah. kudos to her for even allowing that to happen yeah I know we're gonna be eating ramen <laughs> noodles for the next like six months so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I mean yeah these tickets were absolutely insane tickets in general have been absolutely insane um, but you know Boston's ready for you, Drake. Um, I'm ready for you. Super I'm simply excited. just going to put on uh, a Boston, like, city workers uh, 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 <laughs> shirt on. I'm going to have a ladder with me. I'm going like, to go fix one of these lights right here. I just got to go down this way real quick. I'm gonna fix this light real Please quick. do. I got that. And look two, two left in the cut. You're right. And I'm going to be right in the front right there. Come set up, Crept down the block. Right? Home, <laughs> yeah, Tell that me that session is not going to work. Yo, if you... It, it, can we can we do like a can we get cameras on him and like really try to like and get a YouTube thumbnail? I snuck into the Drake show. Yo, that would be fucking that'd be, awesome. That would be if you actually got in, we'd fucking make it. That'd be dope, bro. Dude, I'm gonna try. I think I might try that. We'd go. Dude, that would we'd, be, go we'd go super viral. That'd be Yo, hilarious. What? Hope hope you don't like going to the Celtics. <laughs> 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 Never going to TD Garden. Again. Never again. <laughs> uh, so super excited, Drake. Let's have a good show, huh? Drizzy. Pink tape. Losey vert. Wow. I know huge. You know, highly anticipated. He's just, I mean, in a weird way, like he's probably one of the biggest, hottest hip hop artists out right now. But with, I mean, until the tape came out or the album came out, with like little to stand on in a weird way. Like, obviously, Just Wanna Rock was fucking massive this year, one of the biggest, yep. you know, records of the year. Huge. But, you know, when you talk about someone who's like hot and big, it's because they're like rattling off records, something features, blah, blah, blah. He's having a very different kind of run right now. Mm hmm. Highly anticipated album It drops And how do we feel? I want to go into it A little bit before you do Because I know you have A lot of (laughs) really good insight on it Um, Two things One to your point He's now approaching A hundred songs That have made On the top 100 Wow Yep So he's approaching So I read that Certified No Yeah yeah, Certified certified. My experience With uh, the pink tape I listened to it At 8am On uh, Friday morning Right (laughs) I remember, I remember you guys were already talking about it as I was waking up, and I was like, Jesus. Not the album you want to be listening to at 8 a.m. I had Probably a, not. <laughs> dude, a couple of the records on there, I just hit I hit pause, and I was like, I think I should go back to bed and listen to this <laughs> later on. So, dude, I mean, overall, like, definitely taps into, like, that, you know, grungy rock star, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. hip-hop's, like, rock star, essentially, for lack of better terms. He definitely has that, like, trippy red and Playboy Cardi sound for a bunch of his records on there. And then a few of the featured songs that he had, like the Nicki Minaj one, like, definitely bringing it back to, like, the the roots and stuff, which was cool to see. Um, Overall, I thought it was a pretty solid project. I'm going to see how it ages a little bit. Mm. um, Because I don't know. We're we're not even at the first week numbers yet. And I know that's not the be-all, end-all. But it's going to be interesting to see how it translates the next couple weeks because... I don't want to get into it just yet. I want to let fingers talk, but uh, I mean, it's definitely going to be the number, the first number one hip hop album of the year. I mm. think it will be. Uh, just uh, mm. just on the sheer of you know wanting to people just want this album to drop just to don't, on the first clicks. Um, but I think it'll, I think it'll do um, a good second week. Uh, like I said, he has a cult following. Um, this album is definitely made for festivals. Mm. I feel like you can hear every song in this album, even the rock ones, like the 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 real metal sounding ones too, like taking off in in the in the re, in the in the big festivals. And he has a big you know white crowd. He has yeah. a big white fan base. Um, when you look in the crowd, you see a lot of white people. So he definitely catered to that. Um, uh, I like this. My favorite. Section of the album because it's, it's a long album. It's yep. the first, the, yeah. the was, first ten. Songs. I was going to mention twenty six, twenty six records on it. The first ten songs, um, because the second half is when it starts taking its lefts and yeah, but, yeah. And but like and at the end, it. there are a couple bonus records in there at the end, which I thought were pretty good. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I, I I'm with you. I think the, yeah. the my front, favorite like, five six. My favorite good. part, is, my favorite song is the first song. Yeah, it was of the fire. album it was pretty dope. Fire. And uh-huh. And then I think it's crush, uh, crush it or something like that, or crush you, or crush up, crush it up. I was just on it. Mm. Um, that song is great. Um, is it? 
does it top his last album? Crush him. No. I think he was going way more experimental with this. Um, I can definitely, and I think that comes with confidence. Yeah, right. You know, and and just where he's been, and his, you know, him evolving more into this rock thing and yeah. rock rock star life. I think um, to your point, though, <laughs> I, I mean, Eternal a Take was definitely like that. He definitely pushed the boundaries from like the Love Is Rage two to Eternal a Take, and I think he stayed the course a little bit more than I hoped that he would on this pink tape, yeah. especially with like the anticipation behind it. Yeah. Um, but overall definitely catering to like his cult following and what I'm assuming like his fan base wants. I think, you know, again, mentioning the fact that he is so big right now, I know, um, and I mentioned this on the show before complex has this every year and they, they add to it the, the biggest rapper of the year um, list. And they go back from like the beginning of hip hop in the seventies. <clears throat> it's an awesome article. If you guys um ever stumble upon it, I think Uzi's in the running for potentially this year um, of someone that they could easily pick and, and do their whole blurb for. But his style, and again, the way this album, like, like you talking about how, you know, how it's first week numbers might do and how it'll age, I think is my big question mark for an album like this. Mm-hmm. Especially the fact that it is so experimental and that it goes in some pretty, um, you know, it goes far left. You know what I'm saying? Like the rock songs are very fucking rock. Which I which I think is dope. Like yeah. we've seen like Bad Bunny do it. You know what I mean? Um and but I know that a lot of like uh when we saw like reviews on TikTok and Instagram of, of people like reacting to that, like real rap fans and real Uzi fans are like, yo, what the fuck is this? This is yeah. the worst shit I've ever heard. Yeah. And obviously uh, us as DJs, we, we're a little bit more uh <clears throat> excuse me, welcoming or, or, or understanding of evolution and and trying out and and pushing boundaries right so we're able to digest that a little bit better but i think as far as critical acclaim how does this live in the long term what's what's the replayability of it and Mm. also i mean as djs other than just want to rock what can we probably get away with playing in our sets well just even just looking at i just want to rock i feel like i just want to rock is it's plateauing very fast I don't think I don't so think at so all. Either, I yeah. think I just want. I uh, personally, for me, I think I just want to walk went like this, and it's just going like this now. I don't feel like it's as popular as it was. Yeah, obviously, playing in the club, obviously, it's yeah. just, that's an experience. But I'm talking about um, online wise and stuff like that. It's not for me. It's not. It's it's it kind of fell off. It, it's it's not over your tour. It's not. Um, Exo tour life. Exo tour life to me. So where that's, how that's, long that, that's that, fair. Where how that's long fair. That. Where, where I'll combat it from a DJ's perspective is the fact that I'm act, I'm actually able. Well, not me. I've always been able to play, it, but I think a lot of DJs because there was a point where I, all over Twitter was like, how, how, "What do you follow it up with, or what are you yeah. surrounded with?" There's more and more songs now that have followed that because formula of that. Exactly. because of its success. So now, right. if anything, it's easier to DeBaby, play. Well, I'm I'm Bad using Bunny. I'm yeah. using it as a segue now. Mm. Rather than, rather than like I don't really care like like there's people that are blending it with other things and not really like letting it rock letting it rock per se. I'm using it more. That's why I'm saying like good I one. feel like good one. <laughs> like I feel like um, the the hypeness of it when you drop it is not the same. Than the first I just three. Agree. Yeah, me, I just yeah. it pops for me, bro. It pops. It, it, it's there. Obviously, it pops. I just, I just feel like it's the, like the, like I said, compared to some uh, to, to to that hit to EXO, uh, tour life. Um, it's dropping. Pre- it dropped pretty quick. Um, for me, as far as that, uh, as far as popularity, I would I would argue though that it's definitely a a definitely bigger nightlife record than EXO tour life. Like energies are just like completely different. EXO tour life worked really well for me and really long for me in the in the young crowd. They love that song. And I, I think th- it still works. I, I think it's now it's that throwback record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It works but, but, for a different reason. But, but I think at that time, like, it was just such a, the rise of, like, Uzi, Juice World, Like, like, because at that time, it was, like, that record and um and uh, Lucid Dreams mm. type shit. Yeah. That they just, like, really complimented each other. And it was just that era. Now it's it's Uzi being way more certified and that being, like, a or like a real, like, mosh yeah. record. Yeah. You know, again, when we used to, it used to be comparable to, like, a Mo Bomber or something like that. Like, yeah. I, I still think it has like a like it's still a prime time record. It's still a main set record. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. I think it, I think oh, it yeah, kind of always will definitely. be. I couldn't imagine playing that at an opening um, set. No way. Yeah. I just feel like it's, it's just for me. It's a testament to where hip hop is going as far as like people are kind of getting over the 
the the the mumble like kind of like not so hip hop error. I think it's going away. I think it's starting to fade. And that a testament to that is the record sales are are like they're not as high as they used to be. Mm. You talk about me doing sixty and sixties and like you are know you, under a hundred k. But are you are you saying like are you saying that like lyricism because. I, like from a lyricism just or an energy, content or, or that an people energy. like you know just, because it's, just, it's really not like it's just repetition is just the same shit all over again, over and over and over again. No, no, I agree, I agree with that. So people point. are just like they're. Or I guess we're at a time where people are looking for something new. Yeah, no, okay, I agree with that statement. Yeah, um, people are definitely you know the, the industry needs something fresh or something new. I feel like it's that whole era of hip hop is getting drowned out. It's getting S- sp- how- speaking on that. Uh, did you hear about Coily Ray's? New album? Ooh. 10,000 yeah. 10, in the first week. Yeah. That's like that's really, really bad. bad. That's bad. That's really and bad. And Coyle Ray's hot right popping. now. She's popping. I'm just surprised that, I mean, her, because like obviously the, her radio songs are all on it. So it's like, dude, how, I, I didn't even know it came out until I was like on Spotify. I was like, okay, like just briefly skim through uh, it. But like, Lil, Lil Boozy, uh, you know, God bless Lil Boozy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he bad at? Was uh, having some commentary on it, saying that like the whole game is rigged. He like yeah, based on that, yeah. Because again, Coley Ray's like two, three records that she has out that she had out before her singles or whatever are so big, yeah. yeah. But her because because it's, it's a streaming plus the whatever, whatever, whatever. Ten thousand copies. I, I that one. can't be right, bro. It's it's there. The numbers are there. The numbers, the numbers, the numbers are there. The numbers, the numbers don't lie. Don't lie. I and Coley like that's why I'm I, surprised, Ray's bro. probably one of the like top. Ten hottest rappers right the now. The music industry is definitely rigged in a way. It's definitely controlled. It's definitely, um, you know, strategized in a certain way. I definitely believe that. Now I get to the point where I'm not even, I don't even care about the sales anymore. I got to a point where I don't care about the sales anymore because um, I just don't like the system as it is now pertaining to where uh, I'm used to it. I feel like back in the day, the way the system was, going out, getting the hard copies, going out, and really doing the, the footwork to get people to buy your copy, to take their hard-earned money to buy it, which we've talked about before. I feel like that was more of a gauge of your fan base mm. and who you are as, as a superstar. Mm. I feel like a lot of artists would not survive Mm-mm. that time right, 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 from right, now. Right, right. Oh, just because we're on the topic. And I, we talked about this before about the whole, like, every, everyone just doing, like, um, like throwback flips. Yeah. Fucking, I think Lola Brooke, you know Lola Brooke? She has a couple, like, yeah. records out. Yeah. Yeah. I saw on Twitter, I think yesterday she uh is coming out with a record of uh of grinding by the clips. Really? Of her just being like I think it's it's like shining nah, 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 and it's on the same beat and it's so fucking bad. It's so bad. And I love that song. Yeah. Like that's like that's a if you know the lunch the table. lunch table classic song like yeah. you cannot fuck with that song and I saw yeah. it on Twitter and and it bro is so bad that's a terrible song. I think one of the one of the better flips uh, or uh, my type is like, the best one yeah my type is the best one um I kind of like and that's Bra- not that good no it's not I know. it I rings like, but it's you know I, I like Burner Boys out. I like Burner Boys flip of uh, sitting on top of the but world. he does it differently like yeah. this last lot like it's there's sample and then there's full. Yeah. I'm just redoing Re- this song. I'm, I'm doing a cover of a song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I like just like the Coley Ray pump the jam that didn't really hit. Yup, and uh, fuck, she. Um, I feel like that was. A there force. was another one too. Fuck, I'm, they're all just. just I'm just surprised that there's like, so many now. I feel like players alone like should have more than ten players. than ten k because it was on the album. How does yeah, that yeah, that yeah. song alone you hear it every I don't know two minutes on the radio? <sighs> yeah, it's there's that like I said like the music industry yeah, like I'm kind of like I'm just kind of. You know, focus on the artistry and focus on what the al- what the people are really putting towards an album, creating an album, um, and like now with albums, like people are not. When you dropped an album back in the day, you ch- like it was different. Mm. You changed. I think that I think that that was my problem with Drake is yeah, it's yeah. like he never really changed with his albums. It was all kind of the same material, um, kind of in the same vein like Michael Jackson when he dropped. Thriller. It was, it was the bad. new chapter. It was, the new, it was a new chapter, yeah. new look, new sound. You know what I'm saying? Like we learned who you are, but how can you do that when you're dropping three albums in one year? When you're dropping, like how how much have you grown in that year? How much have you changed? You know, to drop three albums. You know, I feel mm-hmm. like that's what people. That's what makes a good album is you know, and that's. And I feel like that's what why Gunna Gunna's album is doing so well is because. 
he's saying something where he's he's in a time in his life where it's where he's gone through what he's gone through and he dropped a dope ass album speaking on what's the current situation right now i really want to see if he gets the same kind of um response from the from people on his next album that he drops like what are you going to be talking about then Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's that's going to be really the test of him um, especially after dropping a, such a for, for me a flawless album almost wow. uh, for, for wow. him for him for him okay for him um, so it's just like that's where I'm at with it I think that's a, that's more I think that that ties my Drake thing it's not that he hasn't dropped classics it's just for me as as somebody as a music lover you know I didn't really learn too much and we've kind of got the same thing over and over again mm. you know but he's kind of been the guy that flooded that floods. The, the the industry we don't really have those time breaks to let him evolve or to let him change to let to let him deal with things and come back and give us something different. Yeah, and and, and I am excited to see what I mean what Gunna does and yeah. what Drake does if he does drop the next album and what these newcomers are are, are still going to do because because it's becoming so prevalent <clears throat> not only in the DJ world obviously just across music. Are, is anyone going to make a change? Is anyone going to try and be like, you know what? This is something that is a, now because again, Koi being like, she probably was like so excited for this shit to drop, yeah, and not getting these other fuck like, oh, I can't rely on these like yeah. trendy stuff. Oh right. shit, like because because yeah. then she's gonna fizzle out. You know what I mean? Yep. So very excited to see where music uh, ends up and where it goes. And I'll give you guys a new artist to check for. Um, he's a rapper from New York. He's uh t- to me, he's fresh, has his own lingo, has his own sound. His name is Fat Bible. Look him up. I, I think he could be the next big thing. He just dropped a remake of uh, Rapper's Delight that is pretty fucking dope. Um, and like like I said, that's my that's the first artist I've seen in a long time where the, his own lingo, his own swag. He's not copying nobody. He sounds like nobody, and he's rapping and spitting. So check out Fat Bio. It was pretty dope. Or thank you, fingers. Fingers fire. Fingers. And you know, really like the conversation and energy on this one. And uh, as always. We do appreciate y'all listening in, tuning in. Episode 70. Yeah. Wow, baby. Can't wait till we make it to 100, huh? <sighs> yeah, guys. Jeez. Long way to go, but hey, stay here with us. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you add us. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. It can help us. It helps us a long way. Please support us. We love you guys. And definitely considering interacting with us, too. We do yeah, love interacting please, with you guys. Yeah, if you have questions, with us. argue with us. Yeah, I, I haven't been called a, a bad term in a while. Well, we'll see after episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> Everything uh, can change. Anything can change at any waking moment. So thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you next time. Peace.